Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Wednesday 1st, May 2024. Wednesday of the fifth week of Eastertide. Make your home in me, as I make mine in you, says the Lord whoever remains in me bears fruit in plenty. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess <laughs> to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do from the heart, as for the Lord, and not for men, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance. Be slaves of the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work of our hands. Of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting. You are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that, is, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. 
Blessed be the Lord day by day, God our salvation who bears our burdens. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, May 1st, the church celebrates the feast day of St. Joseph under the particular title of St. Joseph the Worker. And this feast day is relatively new in the history of the church. The church instituted it in a response to the spread of communism throughout the world in the last century. And so I would like to take this morning to reflect a bit upon Catholic social doctrine which I know something about. I do teach it at Anna Maria College here in our diocese. But I must admit that the particular aspect of Catholic social doctrine regarding the dignity of work and the rights of workers, which today's feast day was meant to promote, is an aspect that I don't understand as well as other aspects of that course that I teach. One of the things that I've noticed in doing readings and research to teach the class is that we, modern Americans, have a very different notion of what rights are. Everyone wants to assert their own right to privacy, free speech, etc. in competition with the rights of other people. And so people go to court to defend my right against your right, for example. And yet, in the history of the church, when the church has always spoken about rights, it's always been tied up with corresponding responsibilities, respect and care of the other, and duties. And so if you look at texts coming out of the Middle Ages, where people were serfs who worked for feudal lords on their manors, you would see that, yes, the serf had a duty to work, but it entitled him and his family, to certain aspects of care that the feudal lord guaranteed to provide. That is to say that in a society that was knit together by a common love of Christ and a desire to follow his teachings, there was an emphasis not just on, you work for me and I pay you a salary, but yes, you work for me and I ensure that you are provided for. As people moved off of these giant tracts of land and moved into cities and began working in modern industrial factories, that whole social fabric of we have to care for one another, we owe something to one another, we are not just individuals who are unconnected, Uh, that all falls apart. People forget that we all belong to the same body of Christ. 
People forget that St. Paul exhorts us, put on love the bond of perfection, let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called into one body. We belong to one another, and people forget that. And so due to terrible working conditions that existed in the 19th century, these movements to fight for the rights of workers spring up, including communism, which has all sorts of problems, an atheistic worldview, materialistic worldview, etc. And the church decides to respond. And what I would suggest is this. There is no single way in which society oriented towards Christ, arranges the relationship between citizens and the government, between workers and employers. But what can never be forgotten is that we are all called into one body and that the employer does not merely owe a day's wage to the person who works for them, but owes them, in fact, love care, concern, a care that would extend to more than just paying a daily wage. We are called to communion. And I think our society, which is driven so much by materialism, driven so much by... Um, the bottom line on a spreadsheet driven so much by we have to maximize profits, often forgets about the human person, often forgets about what we owe to one another in society at all different levels, forgets that we are called to be part of this one body, forgets that what we owe to one another is love. To God, our Heavenly Father, let us now turn and offer our prayers. That the Holy Spirit may never cease to send forth our holy preachers to proclaim the word of God and spread the gospel of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that God may send forth to them his light and his fidelity, that they themselves may faithfully guide us in the ways of justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unconverted and those estranged from God and his church, especially our own loved ones, that God may grant them life-giving repentance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are in a time of distress of mind or body, who are anxious about their loved ones, who are in mourning, that our loving prayers and this holy sacrifice may be light and joy for them. We pray to the Lord. <coughs> for those who have gone before us, especially for Margarita Martinez, whom we remember at this Mass, that God may let his face shine upon them and bring them quickly into his glorious kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, who guides all of creation according to wisdom and to love, hear and answer what we ask if it be in accord with your most holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who is conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and loving sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, 
with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, and seek in all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Savior, bathing in thy 
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.